Baseball bat, signed by DQ, Dan Quinn, BMF, what you think it stand for? Fight. True bad motherfucker. Fight. Right. Answering some questions from some fans. Instagram Q and A. Um, just want to see what the fans want to ask. Hopefully, I can give y'all some good, um, some answers and funny stories. What high school I went to? Uh, I went to Detroit Southeastern, Jungleers, East Side of Detroit. East Side of Detroit. One big nice fact: Bart Scott went to my high school. Linebacker that played for the Jets. And William Gosen, which was my uh, teammate in high school, played alongside him. You know, Detroit been having a lot of guys make it to the NFL with these last, I'll probably say five to over the last 10 years. We might be up there for like players from states. How do you like the new team? Dallas, Cowboys, I love it here. Not just to say it, but you know, they, they treat you so Teachers are so good here. Uh, facilities are state of the art. Coaches are amazing. The people in you know Dallas, Frisco area, just so much love and passion for the Cowboys. It's unbelievable. Definitely one of the biggest, or if you want to say like, face of you know NFL or one of the biggest teams in the NFL for sure. But um, it's been love since I've been here, man. You know I got traded mid-season. You know they welcomed me with open arms. Everybody's been helpful, including my neighbors, you know, around here. So it's been good, man. I think this is my fourth NFL team. So, you know, the transition went, you know, fairly smoothly, which was pretty good. I would probably say my number one fan would be probably my pops. He's, he's been my coach, my mentor. He knows me in and out, and I was like my best friend. So he's definitely, you know, that one for me. So my daily routine, I wake up about, say about 5.30. Obviously brush my teeth, get to work around six. Um, first thing I do is get in, get in the hot tub, get in the uh, steam room, then get my lift in. After my lift is probably like around breakfast. Got team meeting, from team meeting we go to defensive meetings. From defensive meetings we go to individual meetings. From individual meetings. <laughs> We go to walk through and then obviously we get, you know, a break here and there. Majority of our day is spent, you know, watching film, breaking down opponents, talking about, you know, the pros, the cons, just studying our opponent. And then we out on the field for about, you know, two, two, like an hour and a half or two hours of, you know, just working on technique, grind against each other. Not, ooh, that was, mm, that didn't sound right. Ground against each other. But, you know, just going against each other. <laughs> And um, you know, getting ready for the week for other teams. And after that, we got you know another three hours of meetings, and then you know lunchtime or dinner time, and we're out of there about say about five o'clock. So not too not too long over of a strenuous day, but the days add up. And then it is never really a you get an off season, but you better work out. So it's not really off season. The next question: Why don't you answer my calls? Brother, the last two weeks has been pretty strenuous. Daughter's been going to the ER almost once a week. Holiday season. The more times I look at my phone, the more times I just feel sad. So I've been busy buying things. It's not that I ain't gonna call you around, but call you now. Take it easy. Who is my favorite player growing up? I think as the years went on for me, like the people changed, but when I first started watching NFL, I was a running back back in the day, just like every big kid or any other kid that think they were a running back or they thought they were gonna be running back in the NFL. But uh, I was a big Jerome Bettis fan, him being a native, you know, Detroit. Just a big fan of him, just the way he ran the ball, the way he played. You know, me being a running back at the time, that was someone that I looked up to just because he was a bigger back, I was a big kid, you know, and it just felt like we kind of resembled, but I wasn't nearly as close as good as he was compared to when I was a kid. They played the Super Bowl in Detroit, and I can't remember who the Steelers played, but it was nice to uh, see him win the Super Bowl in his hometown. You know, I felt like I won the Super Bowl as well. That was one of my, you know, favorite players growing up. As I got older, you know, it kind of changed. You know, I wasn't running the ball no more. I was more like blocking for people or tackling people. So my favorite players that I looked up to or watched were like, Cullen Jenkins, Sean Rogers, Big Vince Wolford, 
So, you know, dudes like, like that, that was like my body type. Guys that I watch and I really, you know, looked up to as well as I got older. So, D lineman gonna always stay true to a D lineman. What other positions have I played? So let's take it back. When I was six, I was running back, receiver, tight end. This is all Little League football, so don't knock me. But I always had the sweet feet. I might be a big guy, but I always had the sweet feet. So, my freshman year, you know, fast forward to my freshman year in high school, I played middle linebacker, and that was an experience of, that was a lot of running. A lot of communicating that I didn't really want to do, that I had to do, just because I was able to play and I was that, like that athletic. From my sophomore to my senior year, you know, I got a little bit bigger. <laughs> I wasn't able to catch touchdown passes for, you know, playing tight end anymore. I went down to offensive tackle. That hurt it, but what still made me feel good was I was able to go out there and tackle guys rip people's head off on the D-line, and I feel like that was more suitable for me for my size and stature and the way I love to play the game. So pretty much everything, you know, as you get grow up from being younger to older. So my day of eating, I might be a big guy, but I don't really eat that much. I'm more of a snacker, but um, obviously I'm on a, you know, meal plan to try to, you know, maintain my weight. So normally for breakfast, I'm either doing some egg whites, tomatoes, red peppers, green peppers, onions, chicken sausage, or turkey sausage. Keeping it healthy for the body, some toast and some water. But for lunch, you know, lots of protein, lots of veggies, not much carbs for me, just because I'm a big guy. And it don't take much for us guys to put on weight that's my size, so. Just gotta keep it nice and clean, strict. My favorite food, top three, macaroni and cheese, chicken parm, in and out My max squat. 515, 530, deadlift, or max deadlift. I never really maxed out on deadlift, but from the times I've done it, 365 was probably the most like a deadlift. You could probably do more than that. Yeah, I probably could. I could do 415. All right, all right. Well, you might be stronger than me when that in that department. And then when it comes to like my max bench, the, the most I got up to was probably four or five. I'm not really a big like eight room guy. I do it because it's part of my job. I love, you know, putting the work in, but it's the difference between weight room strength and football strength. And I think I'm more football strength than like weight room strength. Another position I would play if I could would be safety. Cause just to sit back there, like an eagle, and you're just watching everybody, knowing that, you know, only way someone's gonna get to you if the ball was to break loose and people run at you. But to just sit back there and be able to see the whole football field, and that's like something I wish I could experience. But you know what? You have virtual reality, so. I mean, seeing the commercials, you could probably experience it that way, but, you know, it's, the feeling's not the same, but definitely safety. So I couldn't be a corner, because I just, it just seems like that's just too hard. You're working literally every play. So, well, thanks for everyone that tuned in to the q and I appreciate all the support, all the love I've been getting from the YouTube channel. Continue to support, and we're gonna continue to put out some great videos and great content.